got to do the plant tour oh, on I know. the last day of the plant tour. Can you believe tour. that? Look at the steering wheel. My dad was such a good friend of mine and my best friend, and he said, Steve, if you want a Corvette, I will buy you a Corvette if you make the honor roll every single time in high school. Uh, I missed the honor roll by one time. How, how they can paint a black car and then the following car, a white car, right. and a red car. Give me some. Come on, give me some more. Come on. Come on. Oh, what are you doing? Come on. <laughs> Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome to um, an empty Coffee with Conti. And welcome to our unique Corvette channel. You know, guys, I'm a fan, I'm an enthusiast, I'm an owner, and I love sharing our experiences together. I love sharing information, I love getting a little wacky once in a while and having fun, but guess what? The subject matter is always Corvette. It really is amazing how we connect through this car. Speaking of which, how could you not connect with Corvette? when you're at the National Corvette Museum. Good morning, everybody. Yeah, we're actually here today for our customer, Stephen from Oregon, the state of Oregon, picking up what is gonna be almost like a unicorn for us. It's gonna be a high wing Z06, and probably for us anyways, will be one of the highest MSRP Z06s I've seen yet. It's because it has the new 2024 wheel that might be one of the first one you guys have seen too. It's the exposed carbon fiber with the red line on it. Man, it is a great looking spec. Probably not as good looking as Ricky's Rapid Blue 2.0, <laughs> but I really can't wait for you to meet our customer. Thanks again for joining us today. Oh, and there's this car front and center right there. Oh my goodness. And there he is right there. Yeah. I just uh, texted you. How are you? Well, I was, I, was, you. I was talking to myself on the camera. Wonderful oh, right. to meet you, man. Look oh. at this thing. Look at this thing indeed. Oh my God, this is gorgeous, man. Isn't that something? It really is. I, I, I just been here. I, I, I can't, there's no words to uh, describe it. Well, all. I got your text message. You said you were here yesterday. Yeah, so you played yeah. around across the street. No, the I did the track. And then I came over here and sat here and looked at it for two hours. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's oh, wonderful, yeah. man. It is unbelievable. Look at those uh, wheels. These, I know. I was just talking about them out in the parking lot. I think these are one of the first, if not the first set, new for 24. Well, At least I it's the first set that I've ever seen. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just for reference, yeah. I deliver cars here. I delivered one yesterday. Yeah. I probably could have sold this car right here. <laughs> it was sitting right here at the front, and my delivery customer, he got a, a silver coupe yesterday, and he was looking at it and said, Chris, Tell me about this car right here. <laughs> it, it, his, his package was very similar, 3LT with, yeah. with the red seats and all, but he said, tell me about this one. I said, well, um, he said, who sold this? And then I said, well, looks like Coughlin Chevrolet's Corvette Conti must have been <laughs> on board with this. So anyway, this one was catching well, eyes. Well, some guy came by and he said, I'll give you 800,000 for it right now, I'll write you a check. That guy had his dad <laughs> Well, let's go meet the new owner. Were, <laughs> congratulations. Oh my yeah, gosh. Yeah. This car really is stunning. I'm gonna get some more pictures for you guys and share more of that. Let me put some of my stuff down and uh, officially meet our customer and more to share with you guys on the channel. That's what I love coming down here for is to be a part of this experience because at the end of the day, the car is special, but it really is the experience, I think, that makes it special. Thank you for joining us, guys.
I always like to do my own congratulation sign. I know the museum has theirs, but here's my sign for Stephen in the museum display. Yeah, congratulations, buddy. We're going to talk some more. We got some great stories that you're going to share with us. But real quick, we got to do we got to do the plant tour oh, on know. the last day of the plant tour. Can you believe tour. that? How lucky is that? He <laughs> kept getting stopped. He said, sir, you need to keep coming because he's just standing there and all looking at everything. But <laughs> what was probably one of the most amazing things about that tour, watching everything come together? It is how incredibly big, I don't know how they get all the parts together to make the car. Right. That, that was an it's incredible. It's pretty overwhelming, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. They got boxes everywhere, and you right. They, they grab a part here, they grab a part there, and then the eventually it ends up in your car, right? It, it's unreal how they do it. Yeah, you it, loved it, though, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it was great. Yeah, we were talking on the tour. I said this is one thing that you know, besides getting your car, you can really appreciate this car by seeing how it's assembled. It, and then the other thing I said is you need to do the Ron Fellows class and really understand about yeah. your car and feel comfortable and confident in your car. Yeah. So put it all together, it just is a great experience. And how they paint the car. No, oh, yeah. No, Mind-blowing. It is. How, how they can paint a black car, and then the following car, a white car, right. then a red car. Well, that's why that, that uh, renovation... Four, that's why it costs yeah, four, $450 million. million dollars. Right, exactly, yeah. yeah so now we yeah. understand it, right? Exactly. All okay. right. I'm going to let him do his thing. What do we call the dog and pony show? But this is this car so intricate, and there's so much to learn with the electronics and getting it all set up personalized for you. That's what they do right here at the National Corvette Museum. I can't wait to get some more pictures of this car once these stanchions come down. My gosh, this is a beautiful... I get excited over every car. You guys know that. There's not a bad one, but my goodness, there's some that just sometimes are elevated. This is a beautiful, gorgeous spec. Everything is fantastic. One thing he wanted to get and he couldn't get was the carbon fiber mirror caps. Again, more constraint issues, but he's gonna get those at some point, tie into his wheels, to his ground effects and his high wing roof, red interior with the red engine cover, the red line of the wheels, the red calipers, the red Z06 noted here. Yeah, that's a, I told you it's a nice car. It's always cool and respectful and very proud when you come to the National Corvette Museum and other people see your car and compliment the car. A lady just came up to Stephen and said, hey Stephen, did you hear what that lady said? What? She said, your car was the most beautiful one here on the boulevard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I need to zoom on this thing. People are walking into the museum right here and look at their, yeah, they're looking at those wheels. This has gotta be one of the first sets in the country. It's the first for us. The exposed carbon fiber wheel with a red line, it's a $15,500 retail option. I mean, everybody that's walked in here has stopped and just looked at Steven's car. I see you guys smiling, you must like this one. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's killer, perfect combination. <laughs> Now we're still gonna have some conversations and some great Corvette stories, but we've gotta do the send off, Pat. Gotta keep things moving for the National Corvette Museum, but this is still exciting right. to do this right now. Yeah, buddy, here we go. Making it official. A way I want to acknowledge and thank my customers and congratulate them on this freaking Z06 at the National Corvette Museum. That high wing, we're gonna rub it, but first we're gonna do the send. Pat, congratulations, Stephen, in Oregon. On a high wing, we got a rub, and we're gonna go down, and we'll rub that, and we'll go up here, and we'll rub that. Yeah. Woo! I'm not surprised everybody today coming in has said something about Stephen's car, not just because it's the first car you see when you walked in the door, but look at this car, man. This thing's gorgeous, guys. There's a handful, if not just a couple, of these wheels out there so far for 2024. And it's perfect on this spec. Congratulations, Steven. 
Thank you for the business. Wonderful conversation so far we had at lunch. Much more to come, so please don't go anywhere. Thanks for joining us on today's Coffee with Conti. Here it goes. down for a second they were taking pictures down there and I don't want to be in there as the cars leaving the corridor here <laughs> I don't want to spoil the shot for them but I bet I'm in one of them like we said at the beginning of today's show it's about the experience guys nothing better than a National Corvette Museum experience that's what I continue to share with you guys and I hope that you take advantage of that that's a pretty day out here Oh, oh, oh. oh my god look at those wheels oh my god dude that car is smoking hot oh look at that <laughs> hey that car's tight i mean come on i mean i like corvette but that freaking car man wow dude oh here we go more sun coming. You guys gotta see this thing. Look at this thing. Oh. Real time, a couple of days later, you're watching this now on Coffee with Conti and our exclusive Corvette channel. Thank you so much for joining us, guys. It's wonderful to be here, home base for Corvette, but it's even more fun to be here with you on the channel and with our customers and have the opportunity to share the conversations that we're sharing. And like I said, we've got some stories. Steven has some stories about Zora and Corvette that I want to share with you coming up. You did good, level two carbon fiber. Look at this. Yeah. Hey, look at the steering wheel. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Can you believe that? This is awesome. I'm even scared, I'm just shaking. <laughs> Well, it's nice you get to drive it just a little bit before you yeah, ship it I to just, Oregon. I just went so what is it, Oregon or, or Oregon? Oregon. Yeah, everybody says Oregon back here. Yeah, it's, back but east. It's, but, it's, but it's actually Oregon. I do have quite a few clients out there, and I always get teased on how I say it, so I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Okay guys, this is the part of the vlog that I really enjoy, is spending time with our customers and sharing your stories. Steven, first let's talk about the people one more time about the Corvette plant tour. I just wanna thank all the, yeah. the tour guides. Uh, I've been here several times since the tours opened again. They were shut down for five years. Now they're gonna shut down for about a year and uh, they do such a wonderful job and they're out of a job. So it's just like it's over for them Yeah, the two guys that we talked to today uh, are out of a job this afternoon Yeah, so we really do appreciate those yeah. guys. I just I know a lot of them watch the channel I just want to I want to say I hope you guys come back some of them are thinking ah, Maybe we won't come back. We got to do something else for a year or more They're gonna do a whole new facade when you do the plant tours again And of course they're working right now on uh, <clears throat> ZR1 and a bunch of other future stuff. So stay tuned. There's always good stuff coming for Corvette. Thank goodness we have something even fantastic right now to talk about, and that's your 2024 Z06. Yes. I got to thank you for the business. Oh, it well. was so nice to work with you. Uh, you've been enjoying some of the stuff we're sharing on YouTube. We were teasing at lunch about my little mini car race and <laughs> a track in the trailer and all kinds of little yeah. antics. But I say once in a while we'd like to do some wacky things for fun and entertainment. But the subject matter 
is always Corvette. But you've got a history with Corvette. I do. First of all, you shared with me, and thank you for giving me these pictures. You guys have got to see these pictures of this Fawn Beige car. Tell yeah. me about that well, let car. Let me tell you a little bit about my uh, Fawn Beige. When I was uh, 10 years old, um, I saw my first Corvette that I can remember. It was a 1959 white with a red cove. Mm -hmm. And uh, it just stuck in my mind, you know, I was probably in the fifth grade or so. And uh, I just kept talking to my dad. My dad was such a good friend of mine and my best friend and he was a car guy. And well, he said to me, he said, Steve, if you want a Corvette, I will buy you a Corvette if you make the honor roll every single time in high school. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So I worked my butt off and uh, come to find out, uh, I missed the honor roll by one time. And uh, my dad said, okay, he said, I'll still buy you a car, but I am only going to pay half of it this time instead of all of it. So what I did, I worked in a sawmill in Oregon and uh, I raised enough money and uh, I lived in a small town called Canyonville, which is about 25 miles from Roseburg and Roseburg had a newspaper. So every day I'd look in the newspaper to find out about Corvettes and I saw this 1962 Corvette in there for $2,300. So I told my dad, he got home from work, and uh, we went up and looked at the car, and it, it was a Fawn Beige car, Fawn on Fawn, and uh, we ended up buying the car, and I drove it home in the dark, and I, I was so excited, I was 18 years old wow. when, I, when I got it. I had the car, um, and uh, we ended up uh, getting uh, married in the car, my wife, we were married in 1970, and uh, that was the only car that she drove on the San Bernardino Riverside Freeway in California for, oh. for three years. So what happened was when I was a, a uh, senior in dental school, I was studying one night about two o'clock in the morning for a final and this guy runs and knocks on my door and he said, Steve, somebody's stealing your car. What? Yes. So I got up, we ran out they had broken the window and they had the ignition and everything laying on the floor oh. and they were just ready to hot wire the car and take it off. And we got there, if I would have been a minute later, the car would have been gone. And what happened one day when I was a senior, uh, we were going to a car show and it was right on the other side of Disneyland on Catella. For those people that know where Catella Avenue is, I was stopped at a stoplight and this drunk hit us going about 50 miles an hour. And uh, what it did, it, it crunched my back end obviously. I hit the car in front of me so the car was like, eh, like an accordion. And uh, they wanted to tow the car away, which they did, and they wanted to total the car. Oh, and no. I uh, fought with him and fought with him and finally I was able to get the car back. So I got the car back and it was repaired. It wasn't repaired very good in, in California, but it was drivable and we had, you know, a, a good time with it um, after that. And then we were going down the freeway again and a semi truck hit me on my left fender. And luckily I was in a five lane freeway and it threw me across the, the 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 five lanes and I almost ended up you know on the other side of the road and the truck driver didn't stop or anything and and oh, uh, so that was another really uh, close call about the car and uh, I had the car go through uh, the top flight and the Duntoff and everything so that's the Duntoff car that uh, I've got and uh, I truly have enjoyed the car for many years I bought the car 19 uh 67 so i've had that car 57 years yeah and that's the important point yeah, of this yeah. whole story and he the, still has the car yeah and the thing of it is you know people tried to buy the car from him and i actually sold the car to a friend of mine when i was in dental school and he ended up saying ah, i don't know if i want it or not thank goodness he said that or i 
wouldn't have my car. You got you got to buy it back. But I, I he didn't actually give me the money. Oh, he never, okay, he's never yeah, finished the transaction. Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> thank goodness that I still have the car, and uh, and you still drive it a little I, bit. I, I I still drive it, and it's such a, a fun car. But uh, you know, if it wouldn't be for my dad, I probably would have never been in a Corvette because, uh, yeah, he he encouraged me. Here's another story. This yeah. is important to me, and I enjoyed this uh, because you guys know how much, if you haven't been here, I, I have incredible respect for Zora. Uh, I was never honored to meet him, but yeah. you did. Have, tell me yeah. about the Zora okay. exchange you well, had. Well, the, the, the Fawn Beige in 1962. In 1995, the National Corvette uh, meeting was held in Steamboat, Colorado. Okay. And Zora happened to be there with his wife. And uh, I was able, fortunate enough, to get the uh, uh, Duntoff Award. And uh, I've got a picture of me and Zora together, signed photograph uh, in 1995. And uh, I got a picture of the air cleaner signed and, and uh, whatnot. But he had passed away about six, seven months after I, right. he signed my my. Didn't he sign the trunk liner? What did he yeah. say about the trunk well, liner? Okay, I took him, you know, I was crazy back then, so I took my trunk liner out of the car, and I took my trunk liner to him, and he said, <laughs> he said, Steve, he says, I've been signing photographs for a long, long time, but I've never, ever signed a trunk liner. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, that's something that, that I'll ever, you know, cherish, and, and uh, uh, Rick's got a picture of it, and uh, it's, yes. it's, it's pretty cool. And, uh, that is really so, cool. Uh, you I, and I said the same thing, that yeah. it's too bad that he's not here today oh, yeah. to see this new mid-engine car. Oh, yeah, he, he'd... Uh, he'd be so so happy because he was talking about mid engine you know how Forever. many years ago Forever. yeah and you know if it wouldn't be for zora we wouldn't even have the fuel injection or we wouldn't have anything so. just corvette wouldn't be corvette no the corvette would not right. be a corvette so yeah, that's uh, why he's the father of corvette yeah yes. yeah and uh it's been a passion in my life uh i've had several of them i i like to uh, restore them I'm, wor I'm working on 57 right now and uh i <laughs> You know, it's just uh, therapy for me to go out in the shop and, right. and piddle around. So wait till you get this home and you yeah, start driving I, this. I, I know this will this will be therapy. Just finding a road to just I, no I, I know. Roll. It's just going to be therapy to be in it and not even have it move. Just, no, just you got to drive it. Gotta, oh my gosh! Yeah. So uh, I appreciate Rick a lot. He helped me get get what I my dream car, and uh, this is truly a dream car for anybody. Well, I appreciate your opportunity. Many times, guys that are 2,500 miles away, I don't get a chance to meet, so yeah. it was wonderful that I could be here today to see this beautiful spec that you put together, to meet you, hear these stories. This is the stuff that I talk about on my channel, these experiences and these memories and the connection through Corvette is really something special, yeah. and it's actually pretty cool. So yeah. uh, I'm glad you guys were watching and listening. Thank you so much for that. Thank you. Congratulations on the new car. Thank, thank you for the you. business, Thanks. Thank you, Ben. Yeah. yeah. I appreciate you okay. so much. Well, let me tell you a little something about me. When it's Saturday night, I need to blow off some steam. All right, so now we're over at the track, and he's not going on the track. He's just going to drive around in this empty parking lot just a little bit. Yeah. Just to get a feel for it. I mean, yeah. you're shipping it back to Oregon. Oregon. I'll never, I'll, I'll never get it right. Oregon. I'll never get it right. No, that's all right. Boy, wouldn't this be fun to if it, to do the lunch and everything? Oh yeah, yeah. Boy, yeah. You're not broke in, so don't go crazy. No, no, I'm not going to do anything. But yes, I it would. Just, just you can see the tire marks. Somebody else has been yeah, having fun I, out here. I, I just want to just get a little feel. Yeah. Listen to that sound too. You know, I actually thought it would be louder than that inside the cockpit. No, it's not. It's not really that No, you loud. can hear it, though. Oh, yeah. We need to set up your my mode. So when you're in my mode, you have just the exhaust open, but it doesn't change the feeling of the steering or the suspension. Not going to hurt it. You're only at 2,000 RPMs. You're, yeah, not gonna, you can, you're far from 6,500 temporary. Is it 5,500? 65, the first, yeah. First 500 miles? So you can change the loudness of the exhaust? Yep. Hear it? No, I'm not. 
I'm not even pushing the pedal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Oh, look at, look at him. a couple of little loops around, and you're already more comfortable. I love it. Oh, then that, that shift nice. Yes. They're gonna make you put a helmet on in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't want to give it up, Rick. I know. You can go way so, out there. Go way out there. What the hell? Oh, yeah. That's so, it. in launch mode, you don't have to... Uh, when you're the when, to the pedal, do you, on launch mode? Well, in launch mode, yeah, that's what it is. Your foot's on the brake, and then the gas is all the way down, and then you let your foot off the brake, okay, so and then it, it just it takes off. It automatically Oh, yeah, it. but you got to be broke in. And, and really, oh, yeah. they say 500 miles, but personally, I would wait till 1,500 to do yeah. launch control. And no, I'm not going to ruin this motor. No. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> The steering on it is just different than my. It's just, oh, yeah. I mean, look at this. Yeah. Well, part of it is there's, there's no weight up front, so it requires more steering input. But yeah. that that adds to the fun of the driving. It requires a little more art of driving. That's why I encourage everybody to take some training. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you guys can't tell, but I'm getting dizzy. But I love it. <laughs> well, we gotta go. No, we're fine. Do, do some more. Look around. Go further out. I don't know if there's a bunch of rocks out there, though. I don't know. Uh, if, I don't think it, so. Is it clean like this? Yeah, they usually park cars all the way down there. Let's go off to the left and just go further down past the paddocks. All right. Come on. Come on. Give me some. Come on. Give me some more. Come on. Come on. Oh, what are you doing? Come on. <laughs> there you go. There we go. Yeah, look at it. you weren't even at 4,000 RPM. See, you're not no, hurting the car. There's no way you could have done the whole delivery today and then get on a plane and go home and not no. drive the car for goodness sakes. No. I'm glad you did this. Yeah. Thank you again to the staff of the NCM Motorsports Park. You guys are awesome. It just wants to. It, 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 yeah. you, you know, some of those cars you accelerate. As we were kids, you accelerate it. You got to go left. You accelerate and then you know you feel like you got control of the car. This is one that you accelerate and eventually you say, No, 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 you win and you take your foot off the gas. Yeah. You're like, Okay, it's enough. That's enough. Yeah. Okay. We just need a couple of coffees and we could there finish we go. coffee with Conti. There, but uh, there we go. That's right. Remember to subscribe, like this video, make some comments down below. Uh, again, Stephen gave us a lot of things to kind of reminisce back in our own lives with Corvette. Uh, so cherish those moments, but enjoy your car today. All right, guys. Thanks again for watching. Thank you, Stephen. Thank you. Hey, Stephen. Does that look familiar? <laughs> I mean, that's not your car, but that's what you have. Now, how'd they get my car back? <laughs> Yeah, oh, isn't that something? That's a pretty rare color back uh, 1962. Yeah, that is beautiful.